Welcome to Mr. Sanchez and his math. Today we're going to be talking about 5.4c, generate a numerical pattern. It could be additive or multiplicative. And also in the second exercise, we're going to be including a graph using some strategies for another video that was 5.4d. So now let's get started, guys. A music store owner will order guitars covers for his shop. The relationship between X, the number of boxes he will order, and Y, the number of guitar covers he will receive, can be represented by the equation Y is equal 8 times X. Which table contains the value that match with the equation? So I have only one lab here. It's going to be apply the equation to each value in the tables. So the equation is y is equal 8 times x. That means that all of the x, I'm going to multiply them by 8, right? So now let's start with the first one. 1 times 8 is equal to 9. Mm, I don't think so. Let me do a tic-tac-toe. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. It's not 9, so that one cannot be. Let's go with the next one. 1 times 8 is equal to? I already told you that it was 8, so yes, it cannot be 9. What about the third one? 1 times 8 is 8. Yes, we already said that. 2 times 8, they say 16. Let me see what it's going to be. Yes, 16. Let me do the third one because I have to do all of them, right? 3 times 8 is equal to 25. Well, probably. Oops, nope. 3 times 8 is equal to 24. So 25 cannot be. That means that that table doesn't match. I mean that, of course, if none of the... Three out of four, they don't mind. That means that it has to be the last one, right? Two times eight is equal to 16. That means that four times eight is equal to 32. Yes. Six times eight is equal to 48. Yes. And then, of course, eight times eight is going to be equal to 64. So, yes, this was the table that matches with the equation. Now, let's solve using a graph. The labs will change because we will find the rule and then and apply it to the tables. So will we use the same labs that in 5.4D to determine the rule? And then we're gonna do the lab that we did before. If you need to go to 5.4D to check again how to determine the rule, please go to my channel and check it. Now let's work with this one. The graph shown represents a rule. This is the graph. Which table contains only values that represent the rule? Well, first I have to find the rule because I don't know it. So I'm gonna go to my first lab from 5.4D that is gonna be create an input output table with the other person. Here it is with the other person. Now I'm gonna determine the numerical pattern. The numerical pattern, it will have to be plus two and five, okay? So I'm adding two and five. This is my numerical pattern. So in the other one, they gave me the, they gave me the equation. Now here, I just came up with the equation. The equation is X plus two and five. Now, I'm going to do the lab of today. Apply the equation to each value in the tables. So let's apply for the first one. 1 plus 2 and 5 is equal to 3. Does that say 3? No, it says 2 and 5 in the Y. So that one cannot be, baby. You're not there. Next one. 1 plus 2 and 5 is equal to 3 and 5. Yes. Let me check the other one. 2 plus 12. I'm sorry. 2 plus 2 and 5 is equal to 4 and 5. Mm -mm. No, no. It will have to be four and five, and it says five and five there, so that one cannot be. Let's try with the third one. Zero plus two and five is equal to two and five, yes. Two plus two and five is equal to four and five, yes. Four plus two and five is equal to six and five, yes. Six plus two and five is equal to eight and five, and eight plus two and five is equal to 10 and five. So yeah, this was my answer. I want to review something with you very important. Look that in the x-axis in the graph, we couldn't represent the dot for the eight. Do you see that in the y we don't have 10 and five? Well, it doesn't matter because each time that you have the equation, you can solve as many x values as you need, okay? So you just follow the equation. If I tell you what is gonna be the y for an x of 20, well, you have to add two and five to 20 and that will be 22 and five, okay? Of course, the last one, it won't be because one plus two and five is not four and five. Now you know how to generate patterns using tables and graphs. Thank you very much. This was Mr. Sanchez and his math. We were today doing numerical patterns, additive or multiplicative, also using a graph. Here are some notes for you to take 
and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, guys.